Hello everyone, I'm Rushlock, and in this video we'll be covering the GLF missions and activities and rewards. Something else you can get into as a new level 60 character. First we want to go to the hub for GLF, which is Hammer Bay. There'll be three NPCs we need to talk to. First one is a representative here. Talking to them will activate the buff that we already had active, but this allows you to gain influence or rep if you've played other similar systems in other games. It allows to gain reputation over time, just by playing the game, not doing anything special. Go to your Influence tab here on your Mission Tracker. This account is already maxed out, but you can see your progress here. Each daily and weekly mission you do will contribute to this Influence rank. And each time that you rank up, you acquire or open up access to more rewards through the Quartermaster, who's basically the vendor for the system. There's two NPCs here. This one will give you your weekly mission. This one will give you your daily mission. Let's find out what our daily is going to be. All right, it says our daily is Midtown. Our weekly mission, uh, the current step of it, is to clear out X enemies of the X-Men, which is also in the Midtown zone. So it's fortuitous today that both of our missions are in the same zone. This doesn't always happen, but when, obviously when it does, it's, it's definitely a benefit. Um, the GLF Crafter, some of the missions will have you come back to the Crafter and use materials you picked up on another step to craft an item before you can turn it into the NPC for credit. Um, also the Quartermaster, as you rank up through reputation or, or influence ranks, you'll gain access to more rewards. You can upgrade medallions, upgrade your insignia. They have legendaries here as well. It's important to note that these legendaries are different from the ones that you have access to at Odin's Palace. Uh, these are item level 80 as opposed to item level 70, and they basically have the stats scaled up to, uh, to compensate. Another big difference is the Odin Palace legendaries. You can always trade those back in and get your Odin marks back. Um, with these, you spend a thousand Odin marks, and if you ever decide that you want to change, you'll only get back 800 of them. Um, that's an intention of the game to make it a larger choice or a, a choice with consequences, so that you, you want to be certain that you're getting the right legendary for your character at the time. Also, at the bottom of this vendor, you have access to a mini Stark Tech Sentinel, which is a pet you can acquire with credits. One of the easier to acquire pets in the game. But let's head to Midtown and see what our objective is going to be. Where it's directing us to anyway. Once we zone in, you'll see the tracker will update with an objective. And once it's take down Sentinels, Brutes, and... Not Brutes, I'm sorry, MH, uh, MGH Mutants. And destroy the uh, hidden aim crates. But we can do both of these objectives at the same time. Keep in mind that the weekly mission isn't meant to be done in one session. Uh, you'll do it throughout the week. GLF weekly reset on Wednesdays, the same as raids. And both of them offer rewards that are the raid currency. You get four of the hero accommodations and three protector accommodations for the daily. And the weekly will give you a stack of 40 of the heroes and 30 of the protectors. So this is a great supplement or even replacement for if you're not able to raid, if you're not interested in it. You have an, an alternative way to acquire the raid currency. But hopefully that answers some questions for you or explains the system if you've never seen it before. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to post them down below the video or you can tweet them at Rushlock. We'll see you guys next time.